Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time welcome to my channel my name is Marlene and I talk about everything related to eating disorders and healing the relationship with your own body with food and with movement and as we always do we're gonna dive right into the topic and today I want to talk about the thought of oh this is my life now this is what I have to deal with because a lot of people in eating disorder recovery or when they're eating disorder still very active and they didn't even choose recovery yet have that feeling and this is actually a thought that comes up especially in eating disorder recovery because a lot of people think oh okay I'm going to choose recovery it's going to take me a couple of months and then I'm going to be fully recovered and everything's going to fine well the truth is honestly that's not going to happen or it's a very rare case let's say like this I don't want to say that's not possible but for most people recovery takes way longer and this is because your body needs a lot of time to recover but also your brain needs a lot of time to recover and to create new neural pathways basically and that takes time it doesn't just happen overnight and so a lot of people start recovery maybe gain some weight maybe even experience overshoot weight and then they gonna panic and that's oftentimes a point where people fall into a relapse or want to go back completely or where they are like well this is going to be my life so i will always have an eating disorder so if i really want to be happy i have to go back because at least i'm going to make my eating disorder happy now because now i'm kind of in recovery and i'm eating more my eating disorder is screaming at me and i'm also not happy so everything's miserable but the point is, this is the point where you have to continue, where you have to keep going because full recovery is possible. And it doesn't matter if you have been with an eating disorder for two months or for 20 years, full recovery is possible. And I work with enough people and I know enough people and I'm myself am a very good example for that because there was definitely a time where I thought I just have to live with it. I either gonna be completely sick and not gonna have a long life and i'm gonna be honest there was a point where i had accepted that because the thought of changing something was too scary for me i would rather deal with the consequences of my eating disorder which probably would have meant to not live very long than to choose recovery and that was because i was so caught up in my eating disorder that the eating disorder voice was so loud and that there was nothing else that i could believe in but guess what? The eating disorder voice can be very loud, but it actually gets more quiet the more you choose recovery and the more action you take against your eating disorder. So every time when you make a choice that is against your eating disorder, you're one step closer to recovery. But the thought of, oh, this is going to be it and I'm just going to choose the mediocre life. Maybe you're in quasi recovery. Maybe you've gained a little bit of weight. So you're not like on the edge to death anymore, but you're also not fully recovered. And unfortunately, a lot of people actually make the choice and be like, okay, this is going to be it. It's not going to get any better from here. I've been in recovery for one year or two years already. And I'm like still with my eating disorder thoughts. I might not be as bad as it was, but I'm also not well, but this is going to be it. And that's so sad for me to see because I know that you're halfway there already. And that's actually where my coaching comes in. Oftentimes I start working with people when they are at this point already, because that's where doctors are like, oh, you gained some weight, you're gonna be fine, right? And where sometimes, unfortunately, even therapists are like, oh, you're better. But this is actually where coaching comes in and where we have to start tackling all those disordered behaviors that are still there, all those thoughts, we have to create new habits, we have to create new neural pathways, all that kind of stuff. So quasi-recovery is basically just choosing mediocrity because you get the worst of both worlds not the best of both worlds the worst because there is no best of both worlds because the eating disorder is a world that we don't want to have so if you find yourself thinking this is going to be it i will hate my body forever i will work against my body forever or i will have these thoughts forever or i will always have to watch what i'm eating this is not true and i want to encourage you to sit down and to think about it and to think about what life would be if you didn't have those thoughts if you didn't have those habits or whatever it is you still want to work on because it is possible and there's so many people out there who at one point thought oh this is going to be it it's not going to get any better and fast forward two years later they live their best life they are thriving they might even tell their stories and inspire other people I really want to challenge you to think about this life and to think about what life would be if you could just go out and have dinner without thinking about the calories if you could lay on the couch for a whole weekend because you don't feel guilty for not moving if you could go shopping without beating yourself up because all those things are possible but it takes time to get there and i understand how hard it is i really understand that it can feel like going through hell 
but the process of getting there is still just a short amount of time in relation to your whole life. So I personally, at one point, chose I would rather go through hell for two years or however long it's going to take me than to live my whole life like this. Because deep down, I knew that this is not living my life to the fullest. So if you are interested in learning more about coaching, you can always reach out to me. You can visit my website and schedule a free discovery call. If you have any other questions that you would like me to cover in the next videos, feel free to comment. My book is available on Amazon as well. Just a little reminder where I go deeper into overshoot weight, extreme hunger, and everything else related to eating soda recovery. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.